hi this is jyoti from bims dubai today i'm going to show how you can restore the bim server project using the backup backup files created in the old projects and how you can change your project uh, default folder as well as the library default folders okay first i will show you so here the bim control center and in the preferences you can see we have default project folder and default library folder okay now i will show you how we can relocate this and how we can roll back the existing project okay first first you should create a new location for the projects and the attachments so now this is going to be my new location attachments and projects which is empty right so i minimize this one and over here in the preference you can see now the current location is c program files graphics of bim server projects and if you check this location i have projects there's only one project now and attachment fine and now if you see the bim server manager i have only one project which is running and you saw the project default location over there so first thing is that we want to change the folder for the new projects so go over here you can see default project folder now i'm going to change this folder so which is going to be my uh, default folder for all the new projects from now so i say browse and it is in the desktop and then bim projects so projects so now as it's giving the message that this will be the default folder for the new projects so all your old projects will be on the old location and you have to relocate it to the new location as i continue and now you can see the default library folder by default you cannot change this over here so there is another way where you can redefine this location to the new one for this you should open the bim server folder which is available in the program files graphisoft bim server then you should open server modules then 1500 then tmux server then config and then you can see tmux server.config file so here you have to right click and open this with notepad so here we have to ch check for the attachment so use control f and then say attachments and find so here you can see this is the default folder for attachments as given over here so now we are going to replace this one with our new location which is the bim projects and attachments so now open this folder attachments folder then you can right click on the address bar copy address as text then go back to the notepad and select the file path between the quotes and then paste it with the new location now you can see c uses jyoti desktop bim projects then attachments right now close this save the file go back to bim control center and say okay now you have to restart the bim server so say apply and restart and then it will restart then the default project location and the default library location will be set now if you check the preference you can see now the default folder is the desktop and the default folder for the library is this one now in this new location we are going to import the old backups because archicad will not read directly if you copy paste the database file so now i'm going to use another method to get the old projects okay so this is done and now okay, now here you can see i have a backup data 
So this backup data is having different files like COA mains, structure, architecture and as many files. So this data is taken from another computer in which the BIM server was installed before and it got corrupted. So you can't use the BIM server on one computer. So you just took the data which is available in the projects folder. And now I'm going to use this data and use the automatic backup to restore the projects in the new server. Okay, here if you see this first one, here we have the backups. So these are the automatic backups created in the main server which got corrupted now. So here we have the data. So now I will show you how you can use these automatic backup files and then create the new project in the new server. Okay, so first go to Archicad. So first now I'm going to share an empty project. So I'm going for new share. I'm going to give Okay, this is going to be the College of Mans. Right, and now I say share. Okay, now the project is created and uh, I'm now it's like empty project so I'm closing this one because I'm going to create the backup and re restore the backup so I'm going to server manager so here you can see the project is created I'm just going to settings so the size is 11 MB which is empty project and here you can see the backup so there is no automatic backup so first step what we have to do is we have to create a backup file so it can be any name so new backup and then say ok so now the backup is created now how we can check this if you go to the uh, the backups so here this is our new location for the project and under the projects you have the new project and under this you have the backup and this is the automatic backup which created now what I'm going to do I'm going to take this project which is I took from another computer and backups and here I'm going to check what is the latest one so this is the last backup file so I'm going to copy this and put it over here now I'm going to replace or rename the main file which I want so this is the backup which is a small size which we don't require I'm going to delete this yes and this I'm going to redefine or rename it right this is done now I'm going back to server manager now I'm going to the project settings and, and now you can see the file size is 11 MB which is the old one now this new backup file has been redefined with our main project which we took from another computer now I'm going to use the rollback and I'm going to say override this project say rollback say override and when you're doing this one make sure that your Archicad session is closed session means like no file should be running and then ok so it's taking some time to because the file size if you see it's around 200 MB should take some time and it's done now let us check the settings I can see the size is 357 so which is now restored so let us open the project and check whether it is proper or not so I'm going to open open or join now you can see the project is available and I'm going to join you can see the project size okay and now you can see the project is there and we successfully restored from the data so in this tutorial you saw how we can get the data 
means the teamwork data from one computer to other computer and in my next step I will show you how you can use the BIM server backup and restore tool available in the BIM server thank you for now